The Spirit of Intimacy Ancient African Teachings in the Ways of Relationships by Sabongfu Some Foreword by Francis and Julia Weller It is an honor and pleasure to offer this foreword to the spirit of intimacy. What Sabongfu Some has to say here reflects the wisdom of many generations of the Dagara people of West Africa. A lyrical conversation. This book invites us, as good conversations do, to wind along, dip deeply, and circle back again. Taken from recorded interviews and workshops over the course of several years, it allows us to participate in storytelling to take the circular route. This expression, which reflects Sabonfu's oral tradition of teaching, allows us a peak, a precious moment of entry into an indigenous frame of being, which is nothing without spirit, can be nothing without spirit. This book has no theory to prove, no agenda to push, no one to impress. Sabonfu does not endeavor to fix what's broken in our relationships and marriages, and she steers clear of our one-dimensional obsession with behavioral change. What we are invited into is a living and vibrant cosmos where relations between men and women serve spirit, the community, and the ancestors. Sabonfu opens the possibility of remembering that all matters of heart are initiated by spirit, and it is to this source that our attention needs to turn when considering the health and wellness of our relationships. Sabonfu holds in her body, in her awareness, and in her actions that which many of us in the West long for without knowing how to name. Raised in a traditional Dagara village, taught by the elders, a participant in the tribal initiation of women, and the years of mentoring that follow such initiation, she is a woman who knows the depths of grief and the soaring of joy. Her intimate connection with life is so full, so abundantly rich, that to read her words is to witness deeply held truths, to awaken parts of us long ago lulled into numb acquiescence. Her worldview is in many ways vastly different from the one that is familiar to us in the West. Notions of intimacy and sexuality are frequently turned completely around from what we assume to be true. Our belief in the primacy of the individual, for example, gives us rise to revel relationships that are privatized, owned by us, and cut off from community and from spirit. In the indigenous worldview of Sabonfu's people, the idea of a relationship existing outside the context of the village and the sacred is absurd and extremely dangerous. We have gradually learned from Sabonfu over the last several years that marriage Indeed, any relationship is a gift from spirit and requires our gratitude and a willingness to hear what spirit has brought us together for. We have learned that here in the West, just as in Sabonfu's culture, purpose is central to existence and relationships are avenues for one's purpose to be expressed. Intimacy is not designed or encouraged for the achievement of personal happiness, Rather, it is for the fulfillment of one's life purpose, for the enrichment of the village, and for the expression of spirit. It is a means of offering the gifts you carry. These ideas are near heresy to us with our sense of entitlement, the pursuit of happiness. But when it comes to matters of relationship, there is indeed a larger vision than we have imagined. We are culturally in our adolescence concerning intimacy. What is offered here in these pages are openings into an ancient culture whose wisdom can help us take the next step. One difficulty Westerners may encounter when reading Sabonfu's thoughts and ideas is that they are not always linear, building conceptually toward their conclusion. Rather, this book is a conversation reflecting her intimacy with her land, people, and ancestors. 
Our addiction to information will not get fed here either, although much of what you will encounter is new and provocative. It cannot be grasped like data to be inserted into statistics and strategies. There is a word in Dagara that translates as the thing that knowledge cannot eat. Much of what Sabonfu shares in these pages is difficult for our logical mind to grab hold of and thereby defies being another commodity for consumption. Each offering must be taken in through another faculty. The heart, soul, intuition, however you name it, and respected, nurtured, embodied. The indigenous world from which the Bonfu speaks with authority offers us a perspective on relationships that helps restore their sacred context. She invites us into an adult stance in relationships with our partners, with our communities, and with spirit. She offers us a mature vision and challenges us to become more of who we are. May her words simultaneously wet and quench your thirst. Drink deeply. Julia and Francis Weller, Sebastopol, California. Friends and Therapists.